Okay, let us solve this very question. Let us solve this very question on the board. We want to solve this question. Is it if 15 kg mass is placed on a 40 degree inclined plane with a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0 0.15, the same mass which is 15 kg uh, is attached to the pulley with a mass of 5 kg. Now, what is the acceleration of the system? B, you calculate the tension force on the road. Now, I can really do this. I can really solve this very well. It is quite simple, but it is different. The question is different from the one we have solved it before. Now, this one is quite simple. Let us solve this one. We need to bring out the system. We need to bring out the system. It means that the system is an inclined system. Okay. It means that it's inclined at 40 degrees. We are having inclination at what? 40 degree. That's where we have the inclination, 40 degree. And the mass, there's the mass, mass the first mass, and it's a, what is it there? 15. We have 15, which is the M, M1, let's call this one M1, and it's 15 there. And uh, it says attached, it's attached to a, uh, to a pulley, that's what we have there. It's 15 kg mass attached to a pulley. Okay, meaning attaching it, we have it in this manner. This is what we have. We attach it to the pulley, we have it in this manner. Therefore, the other mass will be there. The other mass will be there. We are going to have it in this place here. And what is it there? They say it's a 5 kg. That's what it says there. 5 kg. 5 kg is the mass. 5 kg is the mass. And this one will work now. This one is going to be M2. Let me call this one M2. M2. Why the first one? This one works. And this one works M1. This one is M1. And this one is 15 kg. 15 kg. Now we have to now look at this one now. We need to now resolve this uh, system into components. We need to resolve this system into components. Now what can we really do here? We mean that tension, we can see that there is a rope. A rope on this uh, system that attaches these two, two mass. It means that the, the force that will be in this rope is going to be T. With the tension, the force that will also be is also tension. Maybe both of them have the same tension. Please don't forget the tension here, the same thing as the tension here. The acceleration here is the same as the acceleration here. Now, looking at this system now, you can see that the T is larger than 5. You can see that the mass, this first one, this M1, M1 is larger than M2. Therefore, the system will not move to this direction. The system will not move to that direction. Rather, this one will pull it. This one will have this heavier. This one will pull it, pull it to the other end, and then pull it to the left. Therefore, the acceleration of this one is positive, is no longer negative. But if this one was heavier, if this one becomes negative, it's pulling it down. If this one is going down now, this one is going down, it means that this one acceleration will be negative at the end, while this one will be positive. This one acceleration will what? Be positive. Okay, now let us now see now. We need to now resolve the system into components. We need to resolve the system into components. Don't forget, this is how we resolve it. Remember, we have done it before. Here is FG. This is FG. And we also have another one. Here yeah, is FG cos theta. Don't forget. And there's another way that we try to pass downward from this first one, which is the new one. And there's also a way here that we also have to this one. Let's put here as the cos theta. Okay, this one is another way that was at here, and that will be M the W2. Don't go W2. Okay, now we have seen that now what we have we cannot resolve. And then another thing they mentioned, they mentioned the uh, force that is opposing the system, and that is frictional force. You see now, at this for at this system is trying to move now, is moved to this direction, there will be a force that will resist it, and that force is known as kinetic uh, friction. Kinetic friction. It will be opposing it, it will be opposing the motion, resisting the motion, and now it will help it. The kind of friction there is kinetic, look at it on the board, is kinetic friction. You can see the other sign, it's telling that it's resisting, trying to push it back, it's trying to push it back. Now, at this one, it's dragging it, and with the force of gravity, dragging it, so trying to push it back, that no to the motion, trying to say no to the motion. Now, something is very well, what can we really do here? What can we need to do? We need to now look at it. The first question they ask us, they are asking for the acceleration of the system. Now, what can we really do about the acceleration of the system? You can see now that this one is quite larger. It means that this one, at this point, is pulling to this 
Amen. Do you that this one is now light, is now greater than every other, every other one there. It's greater than this. Of course, it's greater than that one. And it's also greater than this earth cave. Because it must be lighter than this earth cave. Okay, let us see now. But what we have there, we can see acceleration should be sigma f, sigma f, all over the total mass, all over the total mass. And now is the sigma f? The sigma f means the component of the whole system. The component of the whole system is going to be, uh, it's going to be what? Fg. Fg is greater, it's going to be larger as the component, because it's going to that end. And fk is, uh, is going to be what? Uh, it's less than the fg, before what? Minus fk. And the other one, this will be equal to less, before what? It will be equal to all over. The total mass is m1, m1 plus m2. Like the total mass, m1. Plus what? M to drive the total mass. We take note of that. That will be the total mass. Now, okay, let us see what will happen there. It means that we cannot continue, we can proceed. We can proceed. It means that this very one here, this one here, you know what this one means from the system? You know what it means? You know this one here is MG. You know we have done something like that before. MG sin theta. Here is what? MG sin theta. MG sin theta. MG sin theta. It means that. Here, yeah, since this one is attached to M1, therefore I'll call this one here now. When I say my acceleration now become become what I'm going to have there, we call M1 for this one now like M G sin theta, M1 G sin theta, because it's attached to this first mass. Okay, minus FK. And that FK also is one also attached to uh, first mass. Therefore, this one, you know uh, FK. Don't forget that our FK is uh, equal to K Fn and our Fn, remember from the system, we can't do Fn the Fn is going to be at the end because this one is the, this one is the incline plane remember I told you for the incline plane, Fn is not equal to Mg it includes, you mean that for this incline plane, my Fn is at the end will be equal to M1 uh, G cos theta, that is what we do, we will be by the component. If I use F, uh, the right component there, I'm going to have something of this nature. Now, it means that uh, for what we have here, I cannot put this one here you now. If I put it here, we can work now M1 G cos theta. It means that my, uh, okay, it means that now what I have there now, okay, this one was FK, don't forget FK, okay, FK, FK. Okay, now for the Fn now, this one is the Fn, is that I've already been placed and see there. Okay, this one is going to be K, this one is going to be what? Fk, this is going to be what? K, and then going to be K, M1, G, cos theta. You mean that this very one here will come to this point here, it's going to be K, it's going to be K, M1, G, M1, M1, G, cos theta. Cos theta minus W2. Now, what is this? You know, it's going to be M2, M2G, M2G, all over the total mass. It means that this one is the formula we use for the acceleration of this system. Mean now, what is going to be the first one? The first one from the first one, we say it's with two, like the first mass, and our acceleration to that distance. And what is the angle? The angle is 40 degrees, 40 degrees, okay? We are having our angle as 40 degree, sine 40 degree, and uh, what do we have as we k? k is 0.15 from the question, from the question is 0.15 times what is our mass again? 2 times 10 and also times cos 40 degree, 40 degree minus, okay, I don't have a space there, I need to consider that I have enough space, let me consider that I have enough space. Let me put it together so that I have no space. Mean that my acceleration is going to be what? The first one is 15 times 10 times sine 40 degree, 40 degree minus k 0.15 times what is my first mass? M15 times 10, okay, times we're having a cos 40 degree minus M2. What is my M2? My M2 is a uh, 5 and uh, we have the G as 10 all over M1 is 15 and M2 is 5. Okay, from what we have here, let us see now. Let us see. 
If you get this one, this one is 150, 150, and we get the sign of 40 degrees, we have 0. Point, I think it's going to be 0. 0.6428. You just try it in your calculator, but we're going to be having something of that nature. This one also times this one, this is minus 0. 0.15, 15 times 150 as well. And we also get the cost of uh, 40, we are going to have 0. 0.7660. Okay, when you can't see it, you are going to have 50. 50 all over, I think this one is going to be 15. So 50 plus 5 is 20. 20. And when you multiply here, you are going to have 96.42. Just do that. Just do that for your calculator, you understand. Okay, now the other one there, let us see. Let us see the other one, that is 0. Point, let us see one of 0. Point, uh, what do we have there? 0. Point 15. Uh, 0 0.15 uh, times uh, 0 0.15 there, okay? Let me just get the calculation on that one. 0 0.15 uh, times 150 and times 0 0.7665. Okay, this is okay, 60, sorry. 60 minus 50. Okay, now we have 17. We have 17.35. Yes, I go have the head on the calculator here. We are okay, 25, and what I have in my calculator is so look, there's 17.2335. 235 minus 50, minus 50 all over 20. And when you do that, now let us see what will happen. Okay, let me use my calculator to make the calculation. And I have, okay, I have a, yeah, these two are negative, but I have to increase now to increase to uh, 67. And it's going to be quick. We do that one. Let me use my calculator. Okay, we have 67.23.235 all over 20. And we do that. Okay, let me also use my calculator to minus. Okay, if I do it here, I have uh, 29.18. I have 29.18.85 all over 20. All over 20. And we do that now. Let us see. Okay, let me also get the calculation for my calculator here. Okay, when we divide it, we are going to have uh, approximately, we are having approximately, approximately 1.4, okay, on the calculator, I have uh, 46, 46 approximately diameter per second square. This is what I have, I have as my acceleration. Just go through this and you will understand it. Okay, let me also give a second to go through this question, to go through the calculation why I finish the uh, the other part which is part b it says you should get the tension force we have now calculated the acceleration of the system we have gotten the acceleration of the system now we cannot uh, calculate the tension the tension force in the system now for me to get the tension force in the system is quite simple very very simple let me just come out of this piece here and uh, do the calculation Remember, I told you that the tension, the tension in this mass, the first mass, is the same as the tension in the second mass. Therefore, I think the second mass will be convenient for me to get the tension. The convenience for me to get the tension new or sigma, it will be sigma fy because the only component there is fy, which is equal to c minus the limit u. And when we do it, you know the bodies will be up, it's going to be what? Positive, and this one will end to a. And uh, equal T minus this one will be M2G. And when you carry it over, you come T equal to M2A plus M2G. Now I cannot get the tension now. I will go to get the formula for the tension. You mean that for this one now, my M2 is what? What is my M2 is 5? What is the acceleration of 1.46? And uh, plus what is the M2? It's 5 again, and it's 3. Uh, 10, here will be 50. Beauty plus, okay, let us turn this one from the calculator, let us do uh, the calculation from the calculator, let us do the calculation. We are having uh, 5 times, we have 5 times uh, 1.46, 5 times 1.46, we are having 7, yeah, we have 7 point, okay, we have 7 point 3, yeah, 7 point 3, that is what we have here, but what we have here is 7 point 3, with a year, I can take it as 7.3. Okay, how did it now? We have it, we are going to have to 7.3. We are going to have to 7. 
point three inch and what you are going to have here is seven point three feet, seven point three inch. That's what we are going to have there. That is going to be the tension force in the system. That one is going to be the tension force in the system. It's all about this aspect. It's all about this aspect. It's, don't forget, if I also this, if I can see the side to do the tension, we are still getting the same value. If I do the detection here, it's the same, 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 same tension in uh, this very one. The M2, the tension M1, the same tension M2, they have the same tension. Okay, now I think at this point, I can end this class. Thank you very much for staying with us on this uh, class today. God bless you. I wish you all the best. All the best. Thank you. God bless you.